Hi guys, hope you're well. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen. So I post recipe videos every week. So if you like that, hit that subscribe button. I've got a Hmong Dan recipe for you today. So I hope you guys like it. And if you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up. With that being said, let's get started. So guys, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients with you. I've got one and a half cups of green Hmong uh, beans. Before I soak them, this is what they actually look like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you don't have to soak them if you don't want to. I just find that the skin um, comes off easily. We are going to also boil them as well, so we won't have to boil them for longer. Um, I've got two tablespoons of cooking oil. I've got a, a little bit of butter, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a couple of fresh green chilies, and I've just cut a slit across them. Um, some curry leaves, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, some salt, quarter teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, you can add more or less, it's up to you, um, two fresh tomatoes, I've taken the skin off and I've chopped that into small uh, pieces, two onions and I've chopped them as well and coriander leaves and I'm going to chop them up as well. Okay, so what we're going to first of all do is, so in a pot of boiling water, we're going to add in the beans. So while this is going to, to simmer, um, we're going to start on the tomato base, which is the masala. Um, so in a separate pot, we're just going to give that a stir. Um, I've not added any salt or anything like that in there for now. Um, we're going to let this boil for about I'd say about 20 minutes or so. We just want the beans to be soft. Um, and then we will check on that. So, while that's happening, in another pan, um, I am going to add, first of all, the mustard seeds. And we're going to let that pop in there. So you should be able to hear it pop after a minute or so. So I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but they have started to pop. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add in the oil. And our onions. And we're just going to cook the onions till they're nice and golden. So guys, just keep an eye on it. I'm just going to cover this um, and make sure they don't burn. So I will keep an eye on this. So guys, just going back to the mung beans, you will notice that it will be a bit frothy on top. So what we do is we can just get a spoon um, or a ladle or something and we just remove it from the top like this. The onions are nice and golden, so now what we're going to do is add in the curry leaves. And we're going to add the ginger and garlic paste as well. And we're just going to cook that. We're just going to cook the ginger and garlic paste just to get rid of the, that little bit of rawness that's in there. And then we're going to add in the tomatoes, the spices, and the salt. Give that a stir. So what we're going to do is just going to cook till the spices are nicely mixed in and the tomatoes are nice and soft. And we're just going to cover that and I'm just going to keep an eye on it as well. So just give it a couple of minutes. Masala's done. I'm just going to put that aside. Um, now just going back to the mung beans. So they've been simmering away for just over 20 minutes now. Um, they're almost done. What I've done is I've just put... Um, a lid on there because what will happen is we just want to remove some of the, the, the green skin you'll find like, floating on top. So then once we've done that I'm just going to switch it off and then I'll tell you what we'll need to do next. Now we're ready to add in the mung to our mixture here. So we're just going to slowly pour that in. Um, I'm just going to keep the heat on medium so we're going to mix everything together. Um, and then what we're going to do is just let that simmer for about five minutes and then we're ready to serve. You can have it with rice, you can have it with um, roti as well. And then also what we're just going to do is just take our garam masala and then just sprinkle that on top as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let that simmer for about five minutes um, and then we're ready to serve. <laughs> 